Did you know that astronomers estimate there could be quadrillions of interstellar objects passing through our solar system right now, completely undetected? Most are just dead rocks. But what if one of them wasn't? Right now, deep in the cold, endless black of space, something is happening that has left even the sharpest minds at NASA speechless. 3i divided by Atlas. 3i divided by Atlas. The interstellar visitor that has already broken every rule in the astrophysics book is revealing something no one expected. Inside its heart, inside its very core, there's something alive with energy, not biological life perhaps, but a hidden power pulsing like a cosmic heartbeat. NASA has just confirmed what many thought was impossible. This visitor from beyond our solar system contains a core unlike anything we've ever seen before. Before we explore this extraordinary revelation, take a moment, hit the like button, subscribe, and tell me your country in the comments below. I wanna know where on earth you're watching this incredible cosmic moment from, because tonight we're not just talking about science, we're witnessing history unfold. The story begins, as many great discoveries do, almost by accident. A few months ago, 3i divided by Atlas was just another faint object in the telescope's eye. A small speck moving quietly between the orbits of Saturn and Jupiter. But then something strange happened. As it got closer to the Sun, instead of breaking apart like a typical comet, it began to stabilize as if the sunlight itself was awakening something within. This stabilization is by itself a major anomaly. Comets are essentially dirty snowballs. When they approach the sun, the ice sublimates, it turns directly into gas, which causes them to fragment violently and form a tail. But three I divided by Atlas held together, suggesting its composition is far more robust, far more structured than any comet we've ever catalogued. Instruments aboard the James Webb Space Telescope detected a series of energy bursts, subtle, rhythmic, controlled. At first, NASA dismissed it as natural heating, perhaps due to trapped gas pockets expanding. But then came the second shock. The energy didn't disperse randomly. It came in precise timed intervals, 31 seconds apart, then 50, then 31 again. Two pattern to be random, too consistent to ignore. Scientists had seen similar rhythmic emissions before in pulsars, neutron stars that rotate and emit beams of radiation like cosmic lighthouses. But three I divided by Atlas isn't a star. It's a fragment, a visitor, an object not even native to our galaxy's current rhythms. Let's be clear about what this means. A pulsar is the collapsed core of a giant star. An object so dense that its magnetic field is trillions of times stronger than Earth's. For a small, rocky object to mimic a pulsar suggests an internal power source that defies conventional physics. It's like finding a AA battery that has the energy output of a nuclear reactor. So why would it pulse like one? NASA decided to look deeper. Using a combination of JWST infrared sensors and data from the European Space Agency's Gaia Observatory, they scanned the internal temperature gradients of the object. What they found changed everything. Beneath the icy outer shell of dust and rock, there's a dense metallic core, but not iron, not nickel, not any known alloy in our solar system. This material reflected light in strange ways, scattering infrared like polished crystal, yet absorbing radiation in specific electromagnetic frequencies. Harvard's Department of Astrophysics described it as metastable, meaning it seems to shift phases under certain solar angles, behaving like both solid and plasma. It's as if the core is alive with stored energy, reacting to its environment intelligently. Now, here's where it becomes even more extraordinary. When 3i divided by Atlas rotated closer to the sun, its core emitted a low frequency magnetic pulse, faint but measurable. The rhythm matched the Schumann resonance, the natural electromagnetic frequency of Earth's atmosphere. Think about that. The Schumann resonances are essentially our planet's own brainwaves, a global electromagnetic resonance generated and excited by lightning discharges 
in the cavity between the Earth's surface and the ionosphere. It is the background frequency of our world. A signal from a foreign object vibrating at the same fundamental frequency as our own planet's heartbeat. Coincidence? Maybe. But science rarely deals in coincidences this precise. NASA's Deep Space Network, one of the most sensitive listening systems on Earth, immediately began monitoring for any repeat patterns. Over several nights, the signals continued, sometimes faint, sometimes stronger, always consistent. And when researchers mapped the energy field surrounding 3i divided by Atlas, it revealed a perfect spherical symmetry, like an invisible magnetic shell encasing it. Objects in space rarely form such perfect patterns. Comets, asteroids, they tumble, spin, chaotically erode. But this, this field seemed controlled, almost shield-like. The data suggested the core was generating its own magnetic environment, protecting it from solar radiation and cosmic dust. If true, this would mean 3i divided by Atlas isn't just a chunk of rock. It's a system, a self-regulating object capable of maintaining its structure across light years of exposure. Harvard astrophysicist Dr. Samuel Carter called it a possible relic of cosmic engineering, a term that's left many scientists both thrilled and cautious. Could it be an ancient probe? A fragment of a civilization that harnessed stellar energy before we learned to split the atom? It's easy to dismiss such ideas as science fiction, but remember, we too have already begun sending our own messages into the void. The Voyager probes launched in the 1970s each carry golden records engraved with sounds and images from Earth. They've been traveling for nearly 50 years and they will outlive our Sunday to a distant civilization millions of years from now. Voyager might appear exactly as 3i divided by Atlas does to us. An artifact from the dawn of someone else's time. The universe, as it turns out, might be filled with such relics ancient, drifting, forgotten by their creators. Some may be dead, others still awake. Let's talk about the latest finding that sent ripples through the scientific world. When NASA simulated what might be inside that glowing core, the computer models kept returning the same pattern, an inner matrix of high density material surrounded by alternating layers of crystalline and metallic compounds. When they tried to recreate it using known physics, they couldn't. The structure defied thermodynamic stability, meaning by all our understanding of chemistry, it shouldn't exist. What defying thermodynamic stability means is that the materials should, by all rights, fly apart or collapse into a lower energy state. The energy required to hold such a complex structure together is immense, yet it seems perfectly stable. This implies the object is either made of exotic matter we haven't discovered, or it's actively managing its own internal energy state, which again points toward artificial construction. Yet, it does. When asked to describe it, one scientist said, it's like seeing the architecture of an atom scaled up to the size of a mountain. That's how organized the internal symmetry appears. And when sunlight hits that structure, it releases small bursts of photon energy, not randomly, but directed. Imagine a mirror that doesn't just reflect light, but aims it. If you were designing a vessel to survive interstellar travel, this would be the perfect mechanism. It could use starlight itself for propulsion. That's exactly the concept behind solar sails technology humanity is only beginning to experiment with. But what if someone eons ago perfected it? As this realization spread, researchers at NASA and the European Space Agency began comparing three I divided by Atlas to Oumuamua, the first interstellar visitor detected in 2017. Oumuamua also accelerated without any visible propulsion as though it too harnessed sunlight directly. This connection is crucial. Oumuamua baffled scientists because it sped up as it left our solar system, a non-gravitational acceleration that wasn't caused by cometary outgassing. If both objects exhibit this behavior, it suggests we're not seeing isolated flukes, but perhaps a common and perhaps intentional form of interstellar technology. Could both objects be part of a larger pattern? 
a cosmic trail of ancient travelers moving through the stars. If 3i divided by Atlas is indeed powered by a light reactive core, we may be witnessing an entirely new form of physics, one where matter and energy dance in perfect equilibrium, maintaining motion without decay. But what's inside that core? Truly inside remains the biggest question. Recent spectral scans show strange emissions near the gamma and X-ray bands fluctuating like a heartbeat. The frequency rises as it nears the sun, suggesting some kind of activation process. It's almost as if the heat and radiation are waking it up. And when NASA translated the energy fluctuations into sound frequencies for analysis, what they heard was haunting a low resonant hum shifting slowly like the breathing of a giant. Some compared it to the sound of Saturn's auroras or the radio waves emitted by Jupiter's magnetosphere. Others called it the song of the stars. It's hard to listen without feeling something ancient stirring inside you. A reminder that the cosmos is not empty, but alive with rhythm and purpose. For many senior scientists, this discovery brings back memories of the great golden age of exploration. When Apollo 11 landed, when Voyager sent back its first images of Neptune, when Hubble showed us the, the, the pillars of creation, moments that made us believe we could touch infinity, this discovery has that same feeling. Not fear, but wonder. Not confusion, but curiosity. And yet, there's something poetic about what three I divided by Atlas might represent. It's as if the universe is holding up a mirror to our future, showing us what we might become. A civilization capable of crafting objects that outlive suns, carrying knowledge and light across the abyss. Could this be the destiny of all intelligent life? To send pieces of itself into eternity, hoping someone somewhere will find them yet and understand. For now, NASA's next step is clear. They're preparing for the object's closest approach to the sun, its perihelion, when instruments can probe its interior more precisely. If the core does emit signals, we might finally decode them. Or, as some speculate, it might simply burn out. Its energy expended, its purpose fulfilled. But one thing is certain, 3i divided by Atlas has changed the way we look at the cosmos. It reminds us that we're not observers standing apart. We're participants in a grand story that began long before us and will continue long after we're gone. Perhaps, as some suggest, this isn't the first time we've been visited. Perhaps these interstellar travellers are seeds sent across the galaxy, not to invade, but to inspire. When you think about it, it's a humbling thought that long before humanity took its first steps, long before Earth cooled, other beings might have already mastered the language of light and matter, leaving messages hidden in the dust of the stars. Maybe this core is one of those messages. Maybe it's not meant to be opened only observed. A quiet reminder that intelligence is not unique to us, but a natural consequence of a universe that dreams through creation. And as we watch three eye divided by Atlas glow against the blackness of space, we're reminded that discovery isn't just about data. It's about connection between time, between worlds, between minds separated by light years, yet bound by curiosity. So what do you think is hidden inside the heart of 3i divided by Atlas? Is it a natural wonder of cosmic chemistry or the silent echo of a civilization older than time? Tell me in the comments below. And if this story fills you with that same childlike awe we once felt, looking at the moon through a backyard telescope, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this with someone who still believes in the magic of the night sky. Because maybe, just maybe, we're not discovering something new out there. We're remembering something the universe has known all along. That life, intelligence and wonder are not the exceptions in the cosmos. They are its very heartbeat. And as 3i divided by Atlas sails closer to the sun, glowing brighter with each passing day, it's almost as if it's whispering to us through the silence of space that we were never alone. Not then, not now. The valuable lesson here, perhaps, is one of humility. We often look at the universe as something to be conquered or catalogued, but objects like three I divided by Atlas remind us that we are the newcomers. We are the children 
in a very old, very vast library, and we've only just learned to read the first page. This discovery teaches us to listen, to remain curious, and to accept that the most profound truths of the cosmos might be stranger than we can possibly imagine. What does this discovery make you feel? Hope or a little bit of fear? Let me know your honest reaction in the comments section. And if you want to continue exploring these incredible cosmic mysteries together, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next update.